Good morning, Wilson. I'm Miranda. And I'm Stevie. And these are your morning announcements for Veterans Day, Monday, November 11th, 2019. Today's lunch is beef cheese and a bean burrito with lettuce and salsa, offerings bar, and a choice of milk. We will be hosting the second annual Cardboard Boat Races on December 20th, 2019. This event is open to all 6th and 7th, 6th, 7th and 8th grade students. Get a team of 2 to 4 friends together and design and create your very own boat. Please see Mr. Grobon, Mr. Kaneko, or Mrs. Kovesti for more information. We will also have extra, extra forms in the office. Remember that we have our canned food drive going on right now. You can drop them off with our student council volunteers in the commons. We are in need of all items to make sure you're bringing in those stands. Don't forget that the winning homeroom will receive a prize. All student council members need to see Mr. Mrs. Barton in room 100 at some point to pick up an order form for this year's t-shirts. Order form forms are due this Friday, November 15th. Remember that quarter two starts today. Make sure you're starting the quarter off on the right foot and taking care of all your work. Seventh and eighth graders, don't forget to go to your new classes. Homeroom teachers, take a minute to help spread the message of kindness. You should have received a set of gratitude grams in your mailbox. These are meant to be letters written to a special person in your life to express why you are thankful for them. These can be sent to anyone in the school, student or staff, and the person receiving it will even get a special treat. Take a few minutes to have all your students write one gratitude gram. This first one will be free and extra ones after the first will only cost 25 cents and are sold at lunch. Make sure to help keep the message of positivity to brighten someone. Too. A lot of kids were asking what that was, Mr. Shemansky. This right here. Oh, wait, hold on. Slamming Shemansky. This right here is a championship. championship. Student Staff Volleyball Championship. Who do you think won? Whose belt? <laughs> it's our belt. It's our belt. The staff. Hey. Big win. Big win. Hey, the first game, um, we're just going to talk about the event a little bit here. The first game was a blowout by the teachers. We kind of took it to the to the kids. I don't know what the score was, but I think uh, they were almost in single digits. We came out hungry that first game. We were ready to go for it. Yeah, we weren't going to take it easy on them. So the second game. They settled in that second game. I, I think, you know, that was a tough one. The students kind of handed it to us. That's yeah, we had we had no no chance. They, were, they came out hungrier than us. They wanted it more. Then it came all down to the third set. And it was back and forth. Back and forth. And it came out into the 20s. Then we had to bring in the special... What can we, what can we say? I mean, there's words do not... You had to be there. And yeah. if you weren't there, the footage, it's not going to do it justice. You missed out. The students called for the MVP. Well, the MVP came out. It was Boom Boom Barton. None other than Boom Boom Barton. She went four serves in a row. Four serves! For the win. It's huge. It was game changer. Game changer. I, the staff would not have won without the talent of Boom Boom Barton. Not at all. I turned it around, it got the students shook. It was like and they angels, didn't know what to do. angels in the outfield. Did you ever see that movie? We should have carried her off the field like Rudy. Absolutely. We should have. It should have been a moment to be remembered, and you missed it if you weren't there. Yeah, but we do want to say it was an amazing event, and the kids, or the girls on the other side, they were tremendous athletes. Um, they, they showed great respect. Um, they took losing the best way possible, congratulated all of us, slapped hands, and um, the kids also in the, mm -hmm. uh, in the stands. You guys were awesome. So you guys deserve a pat on the back as well. You guys had part in this. So um, awesome environment. I can't speak any more about it, but Mr. I mean, Schmansky, do you have anything else to fill in? We've been doing this, what, three, three years now? Yeah. This is the most fun I've had doing it this year. So uh, kudos out to the team and the students that just made it an all-around awesome event. And seventh graders? Seventh graders. Belts on the line. One year. Get yourselves ready for that, because next year, it's on. <laughs> Yeah.
Happy Monday. Hopefully everybody had a great weekend. Just a few things I want to touch base with you on. Always need some reminders. Uh, girls in the, in the locker room, just another reminder that the perfume and the body sprays, those need to be kept, be put away, all right? Remember, we have students with allergies. We're also seeing students in the hallways. That's strictly uh, not allowed, okay? Because, like I said, the allergies and all that stuff and the asthmas cannot have that. Uh, in the cafeteria, once in a great while, uh, we do have students who say that there are items in their food, maybe a hair, or I, I know uh, on Friday somebody said that they had a piece of an uh, apple uh, stem in their food. What we want you to do, if that happens, and like I said, it rarely does, Come see me immediately. Do not go to the lunch mothers. Bring it, bring it to me, and then we will go inside the cafeteria and we will talk to Miss Shirley and we'll get that taken care of. All right. Also, the bottle caps. We still have that drive going for Mr. Farnsworth. I know Garrett Olson. He brought a bag full of uh, bottle caps from home. So you know you're more than welcome to do that. Uh, just you know help contribute to his cause. Uh, another thing, uh, the dress code. We're starting to see us kind of slipping back into some of our old bad habits. Uh, girls, I hate to pick on you, but if you're going to be wearing those leggings and those tights, please make sure you have a top that's long enough, okay? You've heard us say that a million times. And with the cold weather approaching, students, please dress uh, appropriately for that. We're seeing a lot of you guys coming to school in shorts, no jackets, and then at the end of the day, you know, you're waiting for your rides, you know. When it gets really, really cold, you know, you're not going to be able to stay inside. You're going to have to go outside, and, uh, and, and if you're not dressed appropriately, you're going to be getting sick, okay? So, and I know it's not the cool, it seems like the cool thing is to just come to school in shorts and all that, but use some common sense. Uh, I want to end with a little positive uh, shout out to a couple of our students. On uh, Friday, Mrs. Pierce came up to me in the morning, and she said that a couple students came to her classroom and asked for a garbage can because they noticed that some kids, some students, dumped a, a bunch of debris over the stairwell on the, from the second floor onto the first floor. So they did the right thing and, you know, just came in and got a garbage can and cleaned it up on their own. And those two students are Tori Foster and Stefan Price. So you guys stopped down by my office so we give you guys a few bear bucks. But again, thanks for doing the, the right thing. All right, everybody. It's Monday. We've got a great week ahead of us. Let's do the right That's thing. For today, have a marvelous Monday. Now, I'll stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. <laughs>